What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview and we have the Monte Carlo Masters, the second ATP 1000 event of the year and it's really the start of the clay court season. A lot of big names are playing, but a lot of names are not playing. So these are the players that are pulled out of the tournament. We have Borna Choric, he's out. John Isner's not playing. Nishikori's not playing. Opelka. Dominic Team isn't playing, so very interesting to see that he's not in. And Stan Wawrinka is also not playing this event. All right, let's start at the top quarter of the draw. We have 16 seeds in this event, and the top eight seeds get a buy in the first round. Novak Djokovic, he's the number one seed. First time since winning the Australian Open, we get to see Nole. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll play the winner of Vinoles or Sinner in the second round. So we could potentially have Sinner versus Djokovic in the second round, which is going to be an absolute epic. Then we have Evans versus Lajevic. Winner of that's going to play either a qualifier or the number 13 seed and Miami Open champion, Hubi Hercatch. So Djokovic has a tough draw to start the week. Then we have the number 11 seed, Goffan versus Marin Cilic. That's a huge first round match. Circle that one as must watch. Winner of that match is going to play a qualifier in the second round because we've got two qualies going at it. Then we have Sonigo versus Fucevic. Winner of that's going to play against number 5 seed. Sasha Zverev. So this is a stacked part of the draw. The top quarter of the draw. Of course, you got to watch out for Zverev and Djokovic, but watch out for Sinner and her catch. And let's see how they can convert their games from the hard court onto the clay. All right, second quarter of the draw. Now we've got the number four seed, Sitsi Pass. He's up the top, gets a buy in the first round. He's got a tough second round because he's got to play against the winner of Musetti or Karatsev in the second round. So a huge second round matchup there. Not to mention Musetti versus Karatsev. That's a huge first round. Circle that one is must watch. Then we've got Milman versus Umber. Winner of that's going to play either Ojea Aliasim, the number 16 seed Garen. So another huge first round matchup between FAA and Garen on the clay court. So keep an eye on that match. Then we have the number 10 seed Monfils against Anduha. Winner of that's going to play the Pella or Puy in the second round. Then we have Davidovich versus Dimonor. Winner of that's going to play number 8 seed Berrettini in the second round. So some big names to watch out for in here. Of course, you've got to watch out for City Pass, but also watch out for Carrots of a Musetti. And I'm keeping an eye on Ojea Aliasim because he actually has a brand new coach. And it's Uncle Tony, Nadal's uncle, is coaching FAA. So I'm going to be keen to see how FAA does this week as well. All right, let's go to the third quarter of the draw. We've got the number six seed, Rublev, by in the first round. He'll take on the winner of a qualifier or the wild card, Katarina, in the second round. Then we have Paul versus a qualifier. Winner of that's going to play another massive first round, Fritz, or the number nine seed, Batista Agu. So another huge first round there. Then we have the number 14 seed, Dimitrov, against Struff. Winner of that's going to play the Shardy or Bublek in the second round. Then we have a qualifier versus Manorino, winner of that gets to take on number three seed, and the god of clay, Rafa Nadal, in that second round. So obviously, we're all watching out for Rafa in this one. He is the god of clay. And also keep an eye on Rublev as well, because he might have to play Rafa in the quarterfinals. But I'm also interested to see how Fritz does, because Fritz has had a great week to start the clay court season off this week. See if he can transfer that into a bigger tournament. And if he can get through RBA in the first round, then maybe he can cause some problems for those big seeds. All right, bottom part of the draw now, we have the number seven seed, Schwartzman. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of the wild card, Ruin, or Rud, in the second round. Then we have Hashinov versus Jera. Winner of that's going to play either a qualifier or the number 12 seed, Bruno Buster, in the second round. Then we got the number 15 seed, Fanini, taking on Kejmenovic. Winner of that's going to take on either Thompson or Pear, who are playing in the first round. Then we got Krajanovic versus Basilashvili. Winner of that's going to take on number two seed, Daniel Medvedev, who we all know at this point is a meme when he's playing on clay. Can he win a match, let alone win a couple of matches here? We'll find out together. But for Medvedev, it's a tough start because Basilashvili and Krajanovic, pretty good on the clay court, so he's going to have to watch out. But of course, we're going to be watching Medvedev, Schwartzman, but also keep an eye on the wildcard Run, who's been practicing with Djokovic the last couple of weeks and has a little bit of hype behind him. So watch out for Run as well as the two big seeds in this one. So there it is, the Monte Carlo Masters for 2020. And it is a stacked draw. Not too many big names missing. We've obviously got Team Vavrinka Federer is not playing as well. But we've got Rafa, we've got Nole, and we've got Medvedev, Sitsipas, Zverev as well. So let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this event? It's a stacked event. Anybody could win. This is a little bit of a tricky tournament to predict because some of the big names haven't played on clay this year. So it's very hard to pick Sitsipas or Zverev or Medvedev because we haven't seen them on the clay courts. So I'm going to go with the easy answer and I'm going to go with Rafa Nadal. I think he's going to start the clay court season with a bang as he does every year. So I'm going to go with Rafa Nadal to win the tournament as the number three seed. Again, let me know down in the comments below who you picking for this one. So the Monte Carlo Masters is missing a couple of names, but it is an absolute stacked event.